okay so in today's lecture we are going to discuss about uh, the two dimensional transformations and their role in parallel intersecting parallel and intersecting lines so we will first uh, write some simple results now all of you know that if you have a line which is having coordinates uh, same having x1 y1 and here i have x2 y2 and if i'm going to divide the line into a ratio ms to n then the point which does that job okay that point if i call it suppose alpha beta okay then what are the coordinates of this point uh, given by so we know that this is internal division formula okay which is uh, mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n and m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n so this this is the formula of the point p alpha beta which divides the line segment in the ratio ms to n now what two the two dimensional transformations share a property is that suppose i have a line segment which is a b and suppose that line segment is divided in the ratio of uh, ms to n and if i transform the entire line segment now i don't know how that line segment will be so uh, let me just draw it randomly like this so that line segment will become a star b star okay and this point p will come here and it will become p star okay then it was observed that this p star also divides the line segment a b in the ratio ms to n okay i hope now everybody has understood the statement that if the point p divides the line segment a b in the ratio ms to n then the transformed point which is p star will also divide the line a star b star in the ratio ms to n so the ratio will not change okay so this is our result which i'm not writing but i have explained you everything using this diagram so what are the problems that can be asked related to this so let me write simple question here so suppose i have a line which is given which has n points uh, minus 1 and 2 and b has n points 3 comma 1 okay and ab is divided into uh, ratio 2 s to 3 by uh, point c so c is the point which divides the line segment ab into in the ratio 2 s to 3 and then i'm going to apply a matrix of transformation which is given by say some minus 1 0 5 and 2 then what i want to find is i want to find the point c star which divides uh, a star b star in the ratio in the same ratio okay in which ratio in the ratio 2 s to 3 so the task is very simple what i will do is i will take i know that a is minus 1 2 which is your x1 y1 and b is uh, 3 1 which is your x2 y2 and what is the point c given by this point c is given by the formula mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n and here i have my2 plus ny1 upon m plus n what is m here m is 3 and m is 2 and n is 3 and i will substitute all these values in this formula and i will get say 3 by 5 and 8 by 5 okay so this is the value of what c therefore what must be the value of c star we want to find c star so c star is nothing but i will apply matrix t to that point c so automatically i will get the coordinates of c star so which is 3 by 5 8 by 5 so i'm using that result okay that the point which divides the line segment a b the image of that point will also divide the line a star b star okay so that's why i'm here pretty sure so here i've used the result that c star will be 
nothing but image of c exactly so and i will multiply this matrix minus one zero five and two and i will get some answer let me write that answer for your sake you can set in your leisure time and do these calculations and check if they are correct okay so six by 16 by five so this is the way you find the images of the of points which divide the image into the given particular ratio okay now you can solve plenty of problems regarding this now one of the most interesting thing is that look at the picture over here okay the previous picture i will show you the previous picture actually says that look at this when i have drawn this line a b okay this line a b in the x y plane was transformed into this line a b slope of this particular line is uh, m and when i transform that line then that line might have a different slope so that slope i am going to call m star if the slopes were same then this means that the lines are what parallel okay but i have not drawn them parallel i have drawn them non parallel lines so this is giving you a hint that uh, if we apply an arbitrary linear transformation if you apply an arbitrary two dimensional mat two uh, two by two size matrix on a line the image line the, the image will be a line which may have a different slope so we are going to handle this problem now so i'm going to state the result directly i'm actually i'm going just going to give you a brief outline of the proof okay so what is the result i'm trying to tell you if i have so let me write the title here it is a slope of transformed line okay slope of the transformed line so i'm going to take a line which is uh, suppose a li line is ab and suppose the slope of the line is m and i'm going to use the transformation t which is given by a b c d okay then the slope of uh, transformed line a star b star you have to remember this formula okay is given by what i'm going to call it m star and it is given by b plus d m upon a plus c m okay now this is the formula that you have to keep in your mind so in this formula remember this m is used which is the slope of the original line and these a b c d's are the entries of the matrices the simple uh, thing is that if i have a is equal to x1 y1 and if i'm having b is equal to x2 y2 then what is the image of a i'm going to call image of a is x star which i'm going to call the new coordinates x1 y1 star and here b star which is the image of b which i'm going to call x2 star and y2 star what is the slope of line a b the slope of line a b is uh, m which we know what is the slope y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 we want to find the slope of line a star b star which is uh, which is nothing but m star so what we do is we will just write what is a star b star how is a star b star object obtained by it is obtained by operating the object a b on the matrix t and what is object a b x1 y1 x2 y2 and what is matrix t is a b c d so this will give you the coordinates x star so when you simplify this when you multiply these two matrices you will get the values of what you will you will get the values of here are the four entries that you will get that from that you will get x1 star y1 star which is a star and you will get x2 star y2 star and therefore what is the formula of m star m star will be y2 star minus y1 star upon x2 star minus x1 star i will take these values and substitute from this so what is y2 star y2 star will be this entry Usko pe likho, minus this entry and this when you simplify this will exactly turn out to be how much as i've stated it will be b plus b plus 
dm upon a plus cm okay so this will be the fall value of m star so this is a simple derivation this working out this part is not a very big deal now what is a problem that can be asked uh, related to this so let me write one question here so i have a line which is uh, given by coordinates 2 3 and b is uh, minus 4 7 these are the endpoints of the line okay and i'm using the matrix t which transforms this line segment and that is 1 2 3 4 and what am i asking you what is the slope of line a star b star and that is very easy now because we know all the formulas so first we have to find the slope of the original line which is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 which is x1 y1 x2 y2 and this last slope comes out to be minus 2 by 3 and therefore what is the slope of m, m star slope m star is given by it is b plus dm upon a plus cm this is a this is b this is c and this is d okay when you substitute all those values here the slope you will get is to be 2 by 3 so the original line had a slope minus 2 by 3 and the new line has slope what plus 2 by 3 and you know that if the slopes are if the so this this line is exactly having slope positive whereas this the second line is exactly having the slope negative okay okay so what is the conclusion of uh, the above exercise the conclusion of above exercise is that that if i have two lines which are parallel to each other okay since the two lines are parallel to each other both the line will have what they will have same slopes correct and when i transform them using some matrix t these lines will be will be transferred to some different lines this this line will have slope m star similarly the other line will also have slope m star so this means that what are two 2d transformations doing 2d transformations are actually transferring parallel lines to parallel lines okay so suppose so so, so this means that if i am having a some sort of a rhombus over here okay or some sort of a parallelogram over here and when i use two dimensional transformations what is going to happen it cannot become it cannot become an arbitrary shape because we know that these two lines were parallel to each other so in the image also the lines have to be what they have to be parallel to each other so so you get a brisk idea of this that if i have a sort of a square here the image can be what the image can be at most a rhombus okay it cannot be something which is like a trapezium because of this property that parallel lines are always transformed to parallel lines under the two dimensional transformations okay second thing if you have two lines which are intersecting suppose i have two lines which are intersecting and suppose they are intersecting at a point p and when I take a two dimensional transformation of these two lines, again, those two lines are also transformed into two intersecting lines. Okay. And this, the intersection point P star, what is the intersection point P star? This intersection point P star will be just obtained by what? I will apply T on that point and that will be the intersection point of the two new intersecting lines now these two lines are different okay so these this is a b so i will call this is a star b star it has changed its slope then suppose i'm calling this line is cd and the, the slope of that line is also changed and i'm calling it what c star d stars but the intersection points are mapped to intersection points so this is the second important property that we are going to see without proof okay so so this is again the proof will be as as the same as the previous one okay so so we are going to use somewhere in in the problems now usually we know that a line the general form of a line is given by what is given by ax plus by uh, is equal to c this is the most general form of a line and what you do is you always transform that line in the form of y is equal to mx plus c and then you start calling this particular person as your slope and this particular person becomes your intercept which is actually called as a y-intercept 
okay so if i try to draw this line in this fashion so this is the line y equal to mx plus c so m is the slope and this perpend this distance the this length is actually c or mod c okay which is called as a y intercept now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a line which is of the form y equal to mx plus c and i'm going to apply a two two dimensional transformation which is your again your general i will take a b c d and i will see what happens to this line now so this line will be some line which is of the form y is equal to m star x plus c star now we know that the slope of this line is what the slope of this line is m so this new line uh, which is y equal to m star x plus c star where m star is the slope which we know how to calculate now the only question remains that if you want to find the the equation of this full line you must know how to find uh, okay so this is the uh, case the expression for k star which is k into ad minus bc upon a plus cm so now these two formulas will help us to find the entire equation of the transformed line so now i am changing the page so suppose i take a line y which is equal to minus 2x plus 3 and i'm applying the transformation t which is 2 1 3 4 okay can i find the equation of the transformed line so now you see that this is a very easy problem what is here is clearly from this equation i can say that the slope is minus 2 so m is minus 2 and matrix t is given to me so what is the new slope given by the new slope is given by b plus dm upon a plus cm and when you substitute all the values what is abcd this is a this is b this is c and this is d so all the values of a b c d are given to you m is also given to you and when you substitute it you will get it to be 7 by 4 what is the intercept given by what is k star given by k star is k into determinant a d minus b c upon a plus c m now what is the value of k over here the value of k is the y intercept which is equal to 3 and i will again substitute all those values and i will get it to be minus 15 by 4. therefore this means that what is the equation of the transformed line the equation of transformed line is y is equal to m star x plus k star which is nothing but y equal to 7 by 4 x minus 15 by 4. so this is the equation of the transformed line and this was the original line.